This is my main task. Be as heavy to me as odious. But the mistress which I serve quickens what's dead and makes my labors pleasures. She is ten times more gentle than her mother's craft. And she's composed of harshness. I must remove some thousands of these logs and pile them up on a soaring junction. My sweet mistress weeps when she sees me work and says such baseness had never like executor. I forget. These sweet thoughts do even refresh my labors. Most busiest when I do it. Oh. Alas, now pray you what not so hard. I would the lightning had burnt up those logs that you were enjoined to pile. Pray, set it down and rest you. When this burns, it will weep for having wearied you. My mother is hard at study. Pray now, rest yourself. She's safe for these three hours. Almost, dear mistress. The sun will set before I should discharge what I must strive to do. If you'll sit down, I'll bear your logs the while. Pray give me that. I'll carry it to the pile. No, precious creature. I'd rather crack my sinews, break my back. Then you should such dishonor in the girl while I sit lazy by. It would become me as well as it does you, and I should do it with much more ease. For my goodwill is to it, and, and yours is against. <sighs> you look wearily. No, no, mistress. There's fresh moaning with me when you are by at night. I do beseech you. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my mother. I have broke your eyes to say so. Admired Miranda. Indeed, the top of admiration. Worth what's dearest to the world. Poor world. Thou art infected. His visitation shows it. Full many a lady I have eyed with best regard. Many a time the harmony of their tongues hath into bondage brought my too diligent ear. For several virtues have I liked several women. Never any was so full soul. But some defect in her did quarrel with the noblest grace she owed and put it to the foil. But you. Oh, you. So perfect and so peerless are created of every creature's best. I know only one more of my sex no young woman's face remember. Save from my glass mine own, nor have I seen more that I may call men than you, good friend. How features are abroad, I am skillless of, but by my modesty. I would not wish any companion in the world but you. Nor can imagination form a shape besides yourself to like of. But I prattle something too wildly, my mother's precepts I therein do forget. I am in my condition a prince, Miranda. I do think a king. I would not so. Hear my soul speak. The very instant that I saw you, did my heart fly to your service. There resides, to make me slave to it. And for your sake am I this patient log man. Do you love me? Oh, heaven, oh, earth, bear witness to this sound. I, beyond all limit of what else to the world, do love, prize, honor you. I am a fool. To weep what I am glad of. Wherefore weep you? At mine unworthiness, which dare not offer. What I desire to give and much less take, what I shall die to want. But this is trifling, and all the more it seeks to hide itself, the bigger bulk it shows. And special cunning, that prompt me plain and holy innocence. I am your wife, if 
if you will marry me. If not, I'll die your maid. To be your fellow, you may deny me, but I'll be your servant, whether you will or no. My mistress, dearest, and I thus humble ever. My husband, then. I, with a heart as willing as bondage ere freedom. Here's my hand. And mine. Thousand, thousand. 